Good morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and I thought I would show you how to take these plastic or wooden hangers and turn them into these shabby chic little beauties using Annie Sloan chalk paint and some decoupage. So I will show you how you can get these done. Now chalk paint tends to work on all surfaces, which is why I was using it, but you may want to use a base coat, a spray-on base coat that says it adheres to plastic and this is available on my website. The link is just below this video in the description. My website does go through Amazon so if you're a Prime member all of those same features apply. You can shop for anything else that you need while you're on Amazon through my site. So the first thing I did was I took the chalk paint and I used it as a base coat on all three hangers. So two of these like this one is plastic and the next one is wood. Now while the chalk paint works really well on these, on the plastic I really would suggest using first the base coat of the paint that works over plastic. You want to use that first then the chalk paint. Now on this particular hanger because it was already a light color I painted the dark color underneath, let it dry, and then I used a mild sanding block and I wet it because I just wanted to sand away a little bit of that surface color to get down to the darker part. And you can skip this step. I knew that I wanted to age it a little bit so that's why I went with the lighter hanger, painted the darker color on it, and then went over it with the wet sanding block. And I aged the wooden hanger the same way, but this one was much easier because it was already a nice rich dark color underneath. So I just went around certain areas and sanded away the chalk paint. Now I took my napkins and I cut out one section of the napkin and I'm using these small curved scissors and make sure you don't separate the napkin yet. I'm keeping this all together and I'm going around the outside of a few of the images and you don't have to get too carried away with this even though the background of this napkin is white and the chalk paint that I used, I believe the color is called Marie Antoinette Blue, there's a uh, pink color an old white it's called, the napkin still was able to pop and stand out because they are pastel colors. Um, another reason why I like to use chalk paint. So I'm going to cut out several images. If you've got some images on the inside of your napkins like here, some of the white showing through, don't worry about that. You can leave that be. And when you're all done cutting your images out, you can dip your fingers in a little bit of water and press them onto the napkin and pull them apart this way. It's much easier to do it this way. If you try it with dry fingers it can be really frustrating and you can tear the napkin. So I'm going to go around all of my images and separate that top layer away from the other two pieces. And what I'm going to do now is take napkin decoupage glue and apply it over the dry surface. So I'm just playing around with the napkin to make sure I like the way it sits and I'm dipping my brush into the napkin decoupage glue. This is on my website also. And I'm working from the center out. And that brush is pushing the napkin down and the napkin decoupage glue is going right through the napkin to the surface beneath. Now you can either overlap these napkins or you can just decoupage to the edge and file them away. Whatever you think looks nicer or is more convenient for you. And I'm going to do this to the other two hangers. I'm going to decoupage this center piece.
I put everything aside to dry and once they were all dry, I took the napkin decoupage glue again and I completely covered the whole hanger. And this is for consistency. You want this to be one smooth layer of decoupage glue. And you don't want to forget the handle up at the top. You want to add the napkin decoupage glue up there as well. And then we'll put this aside to dry and then we're going to add our top coat. And because I want these to look vintage, I'm using the Liquitex Matte Varnish. I wanted to mention, the Annie Sloan chalk paint is not always, sorry, the matte varnish there, it's not always easy to find. And on my website, I have a different brand of chalk paint that I use all the time that I really like. And if you are going to be using these hangers a lot. You may want to put two to three coats of varnish on this. You'll be fine with one coat for now. Sometimes people use these just for decorative purposes or if you're selling on Etsy or eBay and you want a pretty hanger. They also make a very nice gift presentation if you're giving someone some, some type of clothing for Christmas or as any kind of a gift, perhaps even your wedding gown. You can hang those types of things on a special pretty hanger like this. So that is our video for today and these are our lovely shabby chic hangers using some decoupage over the Annie Sloan chalk paint. Now like I mentioned I did use the Annie Sloan chalk paint. I sell a different chalk paint on my website which I happen to like just as much but I already have a couple of things painted in my closet using this same Annie Sloan, these same Annie Sloan colors. So in the meantime guys, thank you so much for all of your lovely compliments. Thank you for subscribing. If you click on the button below and to the right, I'm sorry, the icon of the scissors, you will be subscribed to my channel, which is a big help to me. Upcycle with Decoupage is also on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. So I hope you liked our short and hopefully easy project for today, friends. I will be back next week with another video. Thanks again, guys. See you next week. Bye-bye.